Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of our F123 driver career mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we are headed into the penultimate round, the Portuguese Grand Prix here from Portimao. It's back on the calendar for this season and we might be going back to Las Vegas next season, but we have a championship battle that could be decided today. Hamilton has a 25 point advantage over Alonso, so it's quite simple. Alonso needs to beat Hamilton to keep the title hopes alive going into the season finale, Hamilton simply needs to beat Alonso by a point to end it all and become an eight-time world champion. We came into this weekend with a big announcement fresh off the news that, uh, of course, with the previous developments that we wanted to uh, kind of speed up the partnership with Honda at Aston Martin and Lauren Stroll was able to make it happen, but there's a catch. We will be making the move to Honda engines for next season. But in exchange, Honda said they will only move their partnership up a year if Aston Martin brings on Yuki Tsunoda as my teammate for next season. We've been teammates with Yuki Tsunoda before in our rookie season of Formula 1. So, Aston Martin, Lauren Stroll has agreed and that means that Aston Martin will be powered by Honda going into next season. But Yuki Tsunoda has been confirmed. He will be our teammate alongside us uh, for next season. A brand new livery on the way. I've already seen it. Cannot wait for you guys to see it as well. Um, but very exciting. Uh, hopefully more reliability. But as well, uh, this means that our relationship and, and close working with Mercedes comes to an end. As we will no longer be using uh, Mercedes engines going into next season. And this was uh, Toto Wolff's actually uh, reaction as we head into qualifying on the news. Yeah, it's quite disappointing, to be honest. I thought we could trust uh, Lawrence and Aston Martin, but it appears to be the opposite of that. Well, there you hear it. So Toto and Mercedes not very thrilled with the news. How will this affect the title fight? Literally today, Aston Martin, Mercedes drivers Hamilton and Alonso set to fight for the title. Well, it starts with a good qualifying effort from both drivers and I had to make a second lap here in Q1 because I screwed up my first one, got invalidated, but we would get through only P13 here in Q number one. But you can see uh, Sargent actually had a five place grid penalty, but he's starting last anyways. It was for illegal blocking. We uh, in Q2 at a little bit more pace went P4, and then I tried to make a second lap, but would go slower. So, uh, P6 is where we would end up. Into Q3 with Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, Bontas, uh, Sinoda, our now future teammate, and Zhou Guan Yu in 15th place. Now, uh, Sinoda has outdriven Lance Stroll all season long, so not even surprising to see Sinoda get another opportunity with a decent team at Aston Martin next season. We are, though, on our only good lap in Q3. So, Perez currently 9th. Verstappen drops to 6th place, and I, I think he was actually the one in the pit lane potentially here. It was either him or Perez, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Verstappen. Uh, but nonetheless, coming through the rest of the lap, and you can see the games we have made, but we did invalidate our first attempt here now. Coming through uh, towards the end of Sector 2 now, and you can see we are a ways off. Things aren't looking great here, actually. It might be P10 in Portimao as we come through the final couple of corners here, as we're going to head down through the long sweeping right-hander, down the front run straight away p10 on the board currently and it's going to be p10 on the grid i could not go any better uh that's a bit disappointing there as you can see norris on pole over uh russell alonso is crucially ahead of hamilton on the grid but it all comes down to of course the run towards turn one let's head to the grid on sunday for the portuguese grand prix Formula One Circus has made its way to the southern coast of Portugal this week and is preparing for what I think will be a terrific race here in Portimao. So Portimao features 15 turns over the course of its 2.9 mile length. Nine are right-handers, six are to the left. This is a track with a lot of uphill action, which only accentuates the importance of getting those exits right, especially at turn four, where a good line can present opportunities to pass on the way into turn five. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Sainz, Perez, Golden Boy, Gasly, Ocon, 
Bottas, Sonoda, Magnussen, Albon, Stroll, Joe, Sargent, and Nick de Vries. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? And with me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. And they can do it for sure, as long as they don't dwell too much on the position. At the end of the day, there's only one way to go racing, and that's to give it everything you've got. Either your best is good enough to stay in the hunt, or it's not. There's no point giving any less than 100%. Ready to roll off the grid here now as it's going to be the usual medium to hard compound tire strategy. Very straightforward to us. We do, however, some starting on the soft. Let's get ready to roll. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. Okay, Luis, you know what to do. You've worked hard all year. Now go put this title away. Thanks, Toto. Let's get it today, team. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. OK, so you know the goal today, team player at every chance. Yeah, yeah, then four. If I can help Fernando, I will. Ready to roll for the penultimate Grand Prix of the season here now it has been a grueling season round 22 of 23 set though to get underway and as you heard it there we are the team player today if there's an opportunity to help fernando alonso well we are absolutely going to be taking it here as we are ready to go lights out it's going to require a great start to get us up in the mix here starting p10 on the grid perez in front of us signs verstappen as well it's going to be Lights out, we're underway from the Portuguese Grand Prix here from Portimao. A terrible start from Piastri, and as well, Leclerc covered off signs, and it checks both of them up down the straightaway. We lunge it down into turn one around the outside of Hamilton. A huge start. Unbelievable scenes. We are up into, what, fourth place uh, already here in the Portuguese Grand Prix. You could not really ask for a better start off the grid than that, and Hamilton, most importantly, gave up multiple positions. I put him in a bit of an awkward spot there, a clean spot, you know, didn't do anything. Uh, went around the outside side he starts on the soft compound tire our teammate of Fernando Alonso as well on the soft compound tire so pay attention to those guys now to potentially have more speed Alonso got the lead and then you got the uh, pole winner of Norris down to third Russell got him for a second Norris has been unbelievable lately I don't know where the pace has come from uh, from him in the McLaren uh, as he has just been absolutely on it there with two wins here in the last three Grand Prix and there he goes now making a move lap two on the outside of Russell down into turn one. Who's going to get it? I'm trying to, of course, get an overtake done on Russell. He's on the soft compound tire. We're going to try and go around the outside, and there's that stupid ghosting thing that still Codemasters can't get right to save their lives. Uh, but nonetheless, Norris gets the job done. I have some oversteer there on the eggs of the, of the left-hander, so uh, you can see Russell really struggling for grip here in this second lap, and Norris is running down Alonso, who's on the softs as well, and uh, Hamilton on the softs is down to P6 behind Verstappen. and you have to wonder are the soft struggling to fire off because Norris sets the quickest lap of the Grand Prix and as I'm passing Russell on the softs, Norris is passing Alonso on the softs and Perez is passing Hamilton on the softs. All the cars on the mediums right now are firing off. The drivers on the softs struggling tremendously here. We complete the pass for third on Russell and now we move up into a perfect position. That great start we had, one of the best starts we've ever had, has put us in a good spot to help our teammate hopefully of Alonso here today but things might be changing quickly. Norris going past now uh, the Spaniard down towards turn number one and he takes the lead of the Grand Prix and those softs are just doing nothing right now for everybody that's on them. We would run down Alonso basically with no issues whatsoever here. Now midway through lap four and we would be all over him look at him look at him right there yeah you can see fernando struggling hard everywhere for grip especially in these slower corners there's not much i can do to help him in this situation i can't just stay behind him look at norris running away so my only option is i'm sorry but i've got to go for the overtake here uh, and say see you later fernando uh, i would decide to play a bit of a team game and i would keep fernando within my drs for the remainder of this fifth lap and just give him a chance but unfortunately it's just not going to be enough. Even when doing that, Verstappen is able to get alongside him down towards turn one. And he well passed Alonso. So up into fourth or third, sorry, Verstappen goes down to fourth. Alonso goes. Perez, it wasn't going to be long until he has an opportunity to overtake Alonso as well. And he would do exactly that here. And look at the gap to Norris. His pace is insane. We've gone from 10th 
to second place. A great start of this Grand Prix, but I've got absolutely nothing for Lando Norris. He is beating me at every part of the track, every corner. It's becoming uh, basically very apparent right off the bat that I'm not going to be able to win this Grand Prix without a little bit of help. And Verstappen and his teammate of Perez was closing in on me. I was struggling on pace and Alonso was now four and a half seconds behind me. He's got the uh, two Mercedes of Russell and Hamilton right on him down towards turn one here comes Verstappen up the inside we are really struggling here uh, more than I expected now as we got the Red Bulls going past us but it kind of took me a lap behind Verstappen to realize you know what maybe I'm not actually struggling that bad because look at him every time I'm behind him in these lower corners Verstappen's rear end slipping and sliding around a little bit so a lap later coming down uh, coming down the front straight away towards turn one and we'll go up past him on the inside really sailed it off into turn one thankfully he does not get the switch back successfully so we take second place back and we just try to manage this gap and, and hope we can keep Verstappen and Perez behind me now but look at that behind us actually Perez moves through into third place over Verstappen now Norris is now nearly five seconds ahead uh, the gap is stabilized to Alonso see so it seems like those softs have finally kind of got rolling but it's late in the run at this point you as well on the right side see my engine light is on that's due to the gearbox the gearbox is pretty worn uh, we will have to switch out quite a few things going into Abu Dhabi season finale. Alonso, he's going to be the first one of the championship fighters to pit. He's in for the mediums. He'll be going to the end of this Grand Prix. So 20 lap stint. He's going to have to put on those tires. Leclerc and Piastri, same strategy from the softs to the mediums for a 20 lap run. Russell, uh, he would stay out. Hamilton would pit the next lap here on lap 15. And our pit window, of course, is about to be coming up in about lap 18 or so. Uh, as I'm just continuing to try and keep these guys behind me. Perez uh, hot on my tail here. Now, now I was having a lot of issues right here in this corner, locking up my left front a lot, actually. Hamilton comes through to set the fastest lamp after his pit stop's complete now, uh, but he is a bit behind Alonso. Norris pits at the end of lap 17. We'll be coming in here at the end of lap 18, but look how much time we've given up to Alonso. He is now only 17 and a half or so seconds behind as I head into the pit lane to make my pit stop and I was quite slow there on the pit entry but Alonso has made up a lot of time and we are going to be quite a ways behind he's already coming to the start finish line we're just getting our hard compound tire on now there goes Alonso already heading into turn one through turn one uh, Russell passes us Hamilton and even Charles Leclerc is gonna get us we have lost a huge amount of time and I'm not the only one uh, Norris is giving up some time to them uh, but he remains out in front because of how big of a lead he had but Verstappen and Perez are going to be in the exact same situation as myself as I nearly wrecked myself there on the exit of the left hander but coming through to pass Verstappen who uh, is exiting the pit lane we're going to enter turn one right in front of him there uh, as we are on lap 20 of 33. Alonso runs second. He's doing exactly what he needs to do currently to keep his championship hopes alive in his final season of Formula 1. Alonso is hanging up the helmet at the end of this season. Do not forget that. Fighting for his third world title. All Hamilton has to do today is beat him by a point and he will become an eight-time world champion, finally breaking that record with Michael Schumacher. It took a while for my hearts to kick in, but they finally would. Lap 23, 11 to go up the inside of Charles Leclerc and the Ferrari down into turn one. Not a lot of room between the two of us, but we complete the pass nonetheless as we close in on the final 10 laps of this Grand Prix. Alonso's championship hopes remain alive as we're going to go through the grid in Portugal. Lando Norris really has turned into a monster in the last month, looking for now his third win in just the last four races. Everyone should be terrified for what he can do next year. We know there's no regulation changes on the way, so he should have a car capable of a, a title fight. How about Owen and the Red Bulls behind him? It looked like they had the strategy right, but it looks like instead uh, they've got it totally wrong here today. Alonso, the Mercedes gained so much time after their pit stops that I don't think Owen or the others will have enough time to make up no matter how long the run is at this point. Yeah, guys, it's, it's, um, it's weird how the strategy has taken a turn today, isn't it? Just want to touch on Alonso. Uh, he's doing everything he needs to do right now to keep his title hopes alive in his final season. He just needs to hang on for 10 more laps here. Quiet day for Carlos Sainz. Not really a day he will want to remember, I'm sure. Sorry to interrupt again, but we've got a spin on track, guys. Gasly has gone around all on his own. And that you see the live look of that Alpine, trying to rejoin the action. 
And there you see a replay of the Alpine uh, leaving the action momentarily there. That wraps it up. Four through the grid. Coming to lap 26, a little bit of drama right here. This is not what you expect to see. George Russell going for the overtake on Hamilton, who can need some of these points here. They can make a huge difference in Abu Dhabi, as it looks like with less than 10 laps to go. Fernando Alonso in his final season in Formula 1 competition is set to keep the championship hopes alive as he is doing everything he needs to do, and that is beating Lewis Hamilton. Yellow is going to be out, and it looks like it's for Alonso. No power. No power. Quickly go to mode 7. I repeat, mode 7. It's not working. This is, this the, is definition the definition of heartbreak. heartbreak. Oh my god, guys, we're out. I can't believe this, Fernando. I am so sorry. Stop the car. It's over. I can't believe it. The title, the title fight, fight will come to an end, to end in heartbreak heartbreaking fashion, fashion for Alonso in his, in his send off season. season. I am sorry, Fernando. You don't deserve this. Wow. Fernando Alonso's title run comes to an end fresh off the news that we will be leaving our partnership with Mercedes. A Mercedes engine fails under our car at Aston Martin. Coincidence? I don't know. You be the judge. Verstappen takes fourth. It felt like the whole season uh, just came to an end right there. Uh, even for myself uh, in that moment, I could not believe it. I was I felt so bad for a literal AI Alonso. Um, but Hamilton, all he has to do now is finish where he's running, or even just finish tenth, and the world title is his. Hamilton will be an eight-time world champion now. And no matter how you look at the 2021 season, the record book still says, of course, Max Verstappen is the 2021 champion. Hamilton has been fighting hard to get back to this point and fight for that eighth world title, and he is here to do it today and put it to rest now. As speaking of Verstappen, of course, we're putting uh, some pressure on him as we start the final lap here in Portugal to the right side, and we're going to cruise past him down towards turn number one. We'll take the position back, and Lewis Hamilton is on that final lap of this journey to get back to the top step of the world title battle. Lando Norris, who's been in control all day long since he took the the lead early on from Alonso is set to get that third win of his career, the third win of the season, and the third win in just the last four races. Verstappen tries to fight to my right side. We shut the door. He does not get the opportunity that he was looking for. Now in these closing moments, Lando Norris rounds the final turn. He will come through to win in Portimao. It's going to be Russell second. Hamilton becomes an eight-time world champion today in Portugal. Hamilton is the champion. As we exit the final turn down the front straightaway, it will be fourth place here in Portugal for us you know not that bad of a day things uh, went forward they went backwards we still rebounded to a decent result here in Portugal hey good day guys I'm so sorry for Fernando uh, absolutely heartbreaking he does not deserve this kind of end to a title fight in his final year and with that another year of Formula One draws to a close and a new world drivers champion is declared another entry and into that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. They take the chequered flag here then in Portimao in what has been another outstanding Grand Prix. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Quite simply, a driver is nothing without the team behind them. So, a deserved winner, but we do have to give a shout out to the team in the pit lane and back at the factory. Very much a collaborative process. Lewis Hamilton, eight-time world champion. Now, we've been wondering when or if he would be able to pull it off, and he is finally able uh, able to do so here. You know, not in the flashiest fashion. He only finished third there to pull it off, but still, it doesn't matter how you get it. He got it at the end of the day, and he will go down as a record-breaking eight-time world champion. We know he has at least one more season in him still as well. He's not pulling a Rosberg and retiring, so we'll wait and see if he can maybe even go out a nine-time world champion. And if he decides to retire at the season's end of next season, season three. What a season it has been. Mercedes, Aston Martin worked together so closely and it put our two drivers of Alonso and Hamilton fighting for the world title. It, unfortunately, it does come to a, you know, a really sucky end with Alonso's engine failing fresh off the news that we're not going to work with Mercedes anymore. Kind of sus, if you ask me. Uh, but that wraps it up for the world title. We cannot move any further forward, so Abu Dhabi is more of a 
throw the kitchen sink at the at the wall and, and see what happens and see if we can come out of there with a fourth win on the season. It's more of a paid tribute to Fernando Alonso in his final season and maybe other drivers that won't be returning to the grid. And I will be letting you guys know the drivers who won't be returning to the grid uh, next episode because there's going to be more than just one of Fernando Alonso. That's going to wrap it up for me. One episode remains in season two. We're going to have some fun in the next one. No pressure on anybody. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day, everybody.